everybody, welcome back to Super Buddies Forever. As you can see, I finally got the Skeleta I was wanting for the beach. Nude. She is art class, I believe. I love the different colors in, um, in her face compared to some of the other ones. So we're going to do a quick tutorial. I had said on the beach I wanted Skeleta because I am fascinated by her bones being so different from all the rest of the dolls that I wanted to see her in a bikini. So I've come up with something. She actually might be a repaint. She could be. I don't Sounds care. Like could be. So first off, I, uh, this doesn't look good, but I do want to protect her hair. This is going to be per semi-permanent, what I'm doing here. It will not come off and be usable. It's no sew, just glue gun, and I do not want any of the glue gun to touch her hair or face. Because it's pretty much permanent. Well, the, like her face. well, it might um, burn her hair or burn her face, and I just don't want to take that risk. Yeah, because mom loves Skeleta. Yes. So I got her head and hair wrapped up out of the way. Isn't she in one of your top five? Yes, she is. I'm going to put a piece of tape on that. And now I don't have to worry. So what I have here is bias tape which is kind of nice came from my neighbor this is so old she had it left over from her grandmother it's something you use for sewing for hems and things but what's kind of neat about it is it has its own little fold so i'm going to use this to my advantage i also have what do they call this stuff elastic no it's for um needlepoint and cross stitch cross stitch floss i think it's called or something like that anyway this is super cheap like a quarter and i've got so i like this stuff i think this is good for a beachy bikini is that, it stretchy it feels like cloth it's not really stretchy but it is cloth good question grace because of the picture, it looks like a rubber band. Yeah, no, it's something you use for sewing. So I've cut a few pieces. Obviously, you can see what's, where I'm going with this. That's going to be my bikini top. This is going to be the crotch part. This is going to be around the waist. Of course, she has a bony little waist. So I think I'll start off with the crotch part. I have done these. This is approximately, being around the crotch, is about three and a half, three and almost four inches. And the waist part is about two and a half. Well, you're right, but I have already folded down half. And I'm gonna, to keep it looking good, I folded down half. I'm gonna fold down the other thing with glue gun, fold it over for neatness sake when it's put on. Supervision required. Yes. Definitely, because you might burn yourself. Yes, as I have done many times. So I'm just gonna <laughs> fold that over to make it look neat. Not too much glue. I got a scar somewhere when I burnt myself. So to make it stay, what I've done is, I don't know if you can see it here, there's a glare. That bias worked out good, that that's the outside. And on the inside, I just put a little thin coat of glue gun on it. It won't seep through because it's got the extra little hem layer in there. But I'm hoping that that will make it a little like a non-stick on the plastic so it won't just slide around. Here is the crotch part. I have already taken that piece and folded it. You so get a little too it close, baby. the um, hot glue? Could be. So there I'm doing just, just a little teensy teensy bit. You better take off like that stringy stuff. Fold it over about well you wait, you actually it's better to wait until that dries before you pull on it. Else it just pulls from where it's set up. Well, this again too. I don't know if you can see it. See there's a little shine there. I did the same thing. I just, just streaked a little bit on it to make it um, be a little bit um, non-sliding. I'll tell you a little bit if I move the flash around. Yeah, you can see it's sparkling. It might be a little overkill, might not be needed, but I'm just being overly cautious. I was debating whether to use around here, here, and then seeing as I'd want her to sit on the beach, I think the best scenario is to do her waist and just apply to who she is. 
So like I said, this is semi-permanent, meaning it's not going to be coming off, but... Only unless you cut it. Yeah, you can cut it off so it's not sticking to the doll. This is going to be, if you can kind of guess in there, you're getting a good view there, kiddo. Have you ever made a bikini for a doll before? No, I was just coming up with this because I was anxious to do it. If you get the idea, and then this is going to go around that. Our dog is still snoring. So, yes, our doggy bulldogs do snore a whole lot. We got an old English bulldog. And I've got a bat batch of glue that has a lot of oil on the sticks. And it really doesn't like sliding the glue quite quickly, which stinks for this project. So I'm going to put that right in the middle. But do you have any different ones? I don't. I just ordered some. Yay! So I got that oh, little yeah, off center. Looks like a T. Like Mr. Tony. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'm going to put a little more just to Keep where I can support. see. And I'm going to be very controlled with my glue because I don't want it squishing out. Okay, while well, that's drying, just a second, I'm going to jump over here to this piece. The top. Mm hmm. I cut, what did I say on this one? I cut about four inches. I did do that one over. It actually didn't say how many inches was yours. Oh, okay. Well, that one is about four inches. I have already done that one around. And I'm going to do the same with this. Oh, that glue is horrible. So the rest of your um, pink cup is also that oily stuff? Um, I think I'm going to have to switch that out. See if I can see it screwing me up. Mom is prepared to, and she has like a, I don't know. Let me try a different stick. That one is just not pressing with it. The cup used oh, there it's working. <laughs> that was coming out too fast. That's what I'm used to. Okay. The cup used to be an East, old Easter thing from long ago. Yes, an Easter egg dyeing thing. I'm okay. 10 years old and I think that's about 5 years. Okay, pay attention to what you're doing. So that's flipped over. Give that a second to dry. This is what she's talking about. We keep our glue sticks in a Easter egg dyeing bowl. Lightning McQueen on because I used to love him. Now the same with this one. I already tied in the middle. I just took some of that cross stitching floss and just tied it real tight to a super tight knot and in the middle. Yeah, and you can do whatever color you want. I, th I thought I wanted to blend so it looked more like a bikini. Um, and that's like Day of the Dead colors? Yeah, that too. You're right, with the flowers. So here you can see, I did it over here already. This one I did a lot, if you can see the shine. I did a lot more because I really want, I was testing it. And I don't want it to fall down her chest. Yeah, because then there will be a wardrobe malfunction. Well, it's okay. She doesn't have those things, but I want it to look its best. So that is really that. As easy as that, I'm going to let that dry. We will go back to... Now I've got this dry. I'm happy with the way that is. I'm just going to go over here. And we want to show her skeleton this as much as we can because we love her. Yes. Loop it around behind so you got our T. And then I'm just going to stick these on. I don't know if you've been to Disneyland during Halloween themed, but they actually had like an area by in Frontierland. And it, had, it was like all Day of the Dead. Okay, so I got that one going there. Give that a second to dry. I'm going to pull my fingers on that, take the chance of getting burned because I don't want that seeping out. Oh, it's looking good so far. You see, so this side's covered and this side is not. Now I'm going to do this side. Oh, thank goodness I covered her hair, else it would have got. Now I'm ready for this one. And also be careful with the bag because it will melt if you put it with the. <laughs> out on the bag it will melt yeah I think they understand that but at least we got a barrier for her thing all right so I think that looks kind of cute
maybe put a little gem there too. All right, she's like still. So that's pretty, pretty simple. But she definitely has a bikini. Don't go so fast, honey. On to this. Yeah, I'm still practicing. Now that's all ready. I'm gonna put that on the top. I think that could be a bow if this wouldn't slide down. So now you can see. No, you want to keep it. Here, I'll do it this way. I want my finger on the top of my finger. You want to keep it like that. That actually looks nice. So that, that does help. That glue on it does help. And that, this thing will tie around her neck, of course. I just kind of fit it around as best I could. This is only like one chance. go. So I'm going to hold that with my finger. I'm going to put the glue on this piece so I can control it. Not too much. So if you put it on the other side... Uh, get in here with the camera. So if you put it on the other side, it could like spread out inside. Right. Yeah. I can't control it. That's exactly right. Now I can pull those filaments while I'm waiting for that to dry. Mm. Alex's pole, so she's yeah, I always catch everything. There we go. That's how. It, oops. <laughs> At least you can take off. The You're arm. not paying attention to the camera. There we go. My mom accidentally put it through her arm. All right. So let's put her. Pay attention to what's in the screen, not what I'm doing. So we can adjust that. That glue gun did help. Yay! Um, to give it a non-skid. On slide. Yeah. So I'm gonna take this, wrap it around her neck. I can probably start to pull that off because now it's in my way. I'm just gonna give this a bow, a light bow. That was our dishwasher. Go. Now I can cut that and trim that later if I want. For now, I'm going to keep it so it's not too hard to cut off. She looks so funny with that. <laughs> Adjust this a little bit. That did work. I could have went a little tighter. There's our dog in the background. Okay, can you go up so it's on the blue and they can see it? And there's her hair. And I think she's going to look fabulous at the beach she with her bikini. Do, 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 do. Would that take eight minutes? 13. So if you can imagine on the bank beach, she's got her Serapi blanket right here. And we have these as curtains. And we can just lay her back like she is sun tanning. And a couple of the skeletons at Disneyland were actually in the, um, this. Serapis, yes. Yeah, Serapis. Go Skeleta, looking hot on the beach. Woo! Lastly, and this is optional, I decided to go the extra mile. I got Abby's sarong, and I just traced it on a piece of fabric. If you'll recognize this fabric from Venus's blanket in the um, Green Lady Loft, if you don't have one of these to trace, um, I did pull it apart and measured it, and it is 10 inches wide, and then you can just kind of make a smiley face to make your own pattern. The most important part being it doesn't fray and be very careful. I used a silver Sharpie.